Yo, just felt like it. My stream working? <laughs> Mega points. Let's sell some stuff. Oh gosh, we have this organized completely the wrong way. Oh, this is abysmal to look at. What does this do? Fully restores health. Don't want no bombs, don't want no lightning stones, don't want no wind stones. Fine, we'll keep bananas. Alright, we didn't end up selling that much. My inventory organized a certain way. Uh, so actually, let's buy some cheese since we're low on cheese. The restorative item. Well, yeah, we're a little bit low on cheese. Repair. Repair a ride pod. Wait, I missed part of the chat because I had to reload the stream. What? What makes you confused? Which makes me confused as a heck, because he wants me to stream some games I play, the ones that last days. Probably zone out the first 20 minutes. <laughs> I would watch it. I might zone out for a little bit, but I'd watch it. I uh, love you, buddy. I'd watch it. Hey. Hmm. All right, let's repair the iPod. El Roda, you just show up to chat, you show up, oh, you're so good now, show up in the chat. Not even watching, just harassing people in chat, I see you. Uh, so I have pots in between my houses. Uh, I have pots between my houses because, uh, they increase culture points, and you need to have a certain amount of culture points, so like, i.e., like, a city feels real. Uh, and you have them in between houses because then each pot that's near a house increases your culture points. And if you put it between houses, you get culture points for each house that that's connected to. Yeah, well, I just refresh. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm swimming. Yeah, can you hear me, Tetris? <laughs> Let's upgrade, let's upgrade my boy Steve, the ride pod. Let's give him more defense. Boom, defense, defense, defense. Booyah. But I have enough cheeses. I'm not buying more cheese. See, these pots give culture points. So yay, these are all cultured. Everything is cultured. I have a lot of culture points. So if you look at my analysis, my culture points, I have 103 culture points, and for like certain requirements to get stuff to change in the future, you need a certain number of culture points. It's so, like here you can say, I need 70 culture points, but you know, so that's why I put pots everywhere. And pots are really easy to make. Let's go to. I don't even know what chat. I don't even know what you guys are talking about anymore. Let's go to. Let's go to Moonflower Palace. Moonflower Palace. I don't even know what you guys are talking about anymore. I can't build grass there. Actually, I could. I could make the whole city grass, but that takes too many resources. Look at this. This is this. I built this. How do you like this? How do you like my display here? Look, I got a river and a building and some trees and a walkway and little ponds and stairs in the middle of nowhere. Come on. Pointless river. It's actually not pointless because uh, if you were paying attention to my previous let's let my 
previous Let's Plays streams, I need to recreate the garden as it once was in the past to reignite the memories of dear... Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. There's a box here. To reignite the memories of dear Cyrus. Cyrus, who is now known as the evil Emperor Griffin, was once a young, innocent little rabbit who just wanted to do well. Do... do good. But the, the garden went away, and now he can't remember Jack. But... But, but now I restored it, and he remembers more than Jack. He remembers his true self. Yo, I didn't even know these things were here. I gotta get these stat upgrade points. Mm, give me all these stat points. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> put this river then, put this river now. Hey, I didn't... I didn't I didn't design this garden. I just I just recapitulated what the garden's supposed to be, okay? Okay guys, quick give me a hard time. I'm just a foreman here. I don't know why I'm doing so many voices tonight. Let's go. Maybe it's because I'm excited. I played some great games with Dynamic against some Street Fighter. I'm playing one of my i I'm playing one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 2. Let's loot use these items. Increase defense, increase defense, increase defense, increase defense, increase defense. Do they have equal defense now? Oh they do. Do they have equal health? Okay, well, let's use on Max, Max, Monica, Monica, and I'll save the last apple for now. Let's go to this dungeon. Save the cheerleader, save the world. No heroes references. Gosh, it's hard to type with one hand. Yo, anybody out there in chat? No, dance game, dance game, no! No, I messed it up. There we go. Anyone in chat a good uh, one-handed typer? All right, so this is the final dungeon and I'm like a couple stages from the end. Oh, oh. Blue seal means I can't use Monica. Who cares? Don't care about Monica. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that's like asking, uh, Dark Little 3 in the chat says, that's like asking who's good at typing while masturbating. I didn't say I wasn't asking that. Though, who's gonna type while they're masturbating? You just gotta find, like, the one video and just go for it, man. I'm not picky about it. Yo, let's go. We wrecking these dungeons. Uh-uh, I'll put it in the corner so it doesn't bother you guys. This is the final story dungeon. Wait, I still have my Sveta Club equipped. Let's not have my Golf Club equipped. Oh, I should have sold some of these. Oh my gosh, I have so many items clogging up my inventory here. Wait, where is my uh, hammer? Oh, here it is. Woo! We don't need experience points with the ride pod at this juncture, so we're just gonna get experience points through all our weapons. All of my weapons are one step away from the ultimate weapon, so that's good. Got him, booyah. Oops. So I have played this game doing most stuff, including extra stuff, and I'm at like 42 hours now, so I'd say it's about a 40, 45 to 50 hour game for the main story. If you want to do the extra content though, like there's a whole huge dungeon, there's like a whole huge post game, uh, that'll get you upwards of like 80 hours. The dungeon is long as hell. It's not necessarily the most fun dungeon, but it's long. Oh, night, Elroda. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Just giving you a hard time because I love you, bud. But yeah, this game, I'd say this game, 
is a roughly one of those like if you feel like on the back of the box it's a 50 hour RPG so not too bad but certainly not on the short side either no I have not been recording the full playthrough this is like a, I put it in my free play series which is just you kind of hop in and out of my experience I played a lot of it off stream I actually started pretty far in the game with my streams and I streamed actually I've streamed most of my gameplay since about mid game or mid to mid to mid late game I've streamed a lot of my gameplay but missed probably the easily the good first half if not first you know I don't know other ratio that's bigger than half but smaller than two thirds <laughs> So your Rad Trooper wouldn't know if I had streamed it. I don't want Heartthrob Cherries. Hey, yeah. Oh, Tetris, I started watching Young Justice. It's actually pretty good. Not to season two yet, so I don't see no, I don't see no, uh, so no Virgil yet. I don't see no Static Shock yet. I'm disappointed. I want some Static Shock. Okay, that's that's these guys need to be right potted. pretty good. I'm not sure how I... Like, the thing is, the the characters feel so random in it. That's my only thing. It's like, especially the villains, like, there's so many, like, weird DC characters. I'm like, what the... It's so random. But I, I'm enjoying it. Oh, we got Dark Elm 3 saying Young Justice is dope. Alright, alright. I'm like 13 episodes in. So, still got a decent amount left to watch. Treasure chest opening is disappointing in this game. Yeah. Maybe it's just because you open so many of them. Like this. Like, every one of those dots is a treasure chest. So they don't want you to be like, da na 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 Yo, though, Wally is annoying as hell. Can't stand that punk. It's so annoying. And also, if they, the, the only thing that's also really funny to me is, like, for these kids who, like, think they're pretty, like, badass, like, they still call themselves, like, Aqua Lad and Flash Kid. Like, Lad and Kid? Come on, guys. Like, especially Aqua Lad, who I really like. I think he's cool. I like that he's the leader. But, like, I'm Aqua Lad. Uh, what's that show called? Is that the love one? Oh, my gosh. Is that the show Love? I guess if so, I have not checked it out yet. Red, have you ever heard of Judd Apatow? The guy who did Super Bad, the 40-year-old virgin, knocked up. Uh, I've heard mixed things about it. If it's that love show, but I don't, I don't, I don't really know too much about it. Uh, I am excited though, cause I think it's like three weeks. Daredevil comes back for season two. Yeah, buddy. No one's supposed to watch any movies, Rad Trooper, but their movies typically people our age have seen. Uh, yeah, experience bonus. Level my weapons. Do it. Do it. Do it. Daredevil Season 1 had its faults, but Daredevil Season 1 was pretty good, I think. I think. Oh, so right now my objective, for anyone who's watching for the gameplay and gameplay alone, and not my thrilling personality, uh, the objective is to kill all the monsters on the floor to go into the next floor. Well, you don't have to do that, but I do that because I want to be able to play the golf mini game that opens up when you finish all monsters. So you're looking for the one monster that has the key to the exit of the floor. And I already have that. For this dungeon, it's like a little watering pail. Alright. The 
takes care of you guys. Sveda boys. Oh man, I do not like Foggy. <laughs> Are you joking? Are you joking? All right, so I gotta go to the move. You can move yourself to the sphere, but then you lose out on those experience points. I like experience points, but now I've got a long run back to the flashing red dot, which is the Sveda ball, which is a golf mini game. Uh, this is a long way to the Sveda ball. I should have just, should have just foregone that small amount of experience points. Yo, has anyone in chat seen The Witch? It's a movie I really want to see. I don't know if uh, if it lives up to the hype and the reviews. Looks really good. Hopefully it comes out on demand soon. Let's quit my golf club. That is 10 shots. Let's just go down this way. Sweet Jeebus, I almost messed that one up. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> uh, Dark Little Woman in chat says there was a scene with Foggy in the beginning of the series that was so bad I almost didn't watch the series. Same here, buddy. Foggy. Oh, he was so insufferable. He's so unlikable. Uh, did, I get, did I get around the corner? No, I did not. Uh, I got around it enough. Wait, where is the corner exit? Down here? That's probably not good enough. That's gonna hit the pillar. Don't do it! Ah, oh, it's gonna hit the pillar. Oh, oh! It actually worked out in my favor. Our difference is he'll put up with horror in a group setting so peeps who like horror can see it not me to enjoy, but I watch my own. It's horror? Sounds like garbage Alex horror. Whoa! What are we. What are we. What is happening in the chat tonight? Garbage Alex horror. Alex horror is the best kind of horror. What are you guys talking about? What is up, insert fail? I've been seeing you stream more recently. I, I was uh, falling asleep last night and uh, the fiance was asleep next to me. Uh, and I saw that you were streaming, I was like, ah, oh, I wanna chat, but like, she was kinda like sleeping on my shoulder so I couldn't chat, but what's up, insert fail? See, you've been streaming a lot. You're doing much better than me. I've got like no followers. You're a boss, what is up, insert fail? How's it going? Yeah. Oh, backspin, oh, backspin, all right. Booyah! All right, let's close this freaking distortion. Boom. Four, bonk, bang. You got two monitors now, you're living the dream. Look at me, I'm poor man streaming on my PS4. I'm just too much of a fan of horror. I can't trust your judgment. Oh. All right, what are some of your favorite horror movies in Dark Emblem? Very curious. Yes, uh, Interfail since brings back memories. It did for me too. I thought like, oh, I'll play casually, whatever. I've beaten the game before. Uh, darn it. Like, I'm, I'll play casually. I have beaten the game before. I beat it when I was a kid. I got to nearly the final, final boss. I'm not gonna play it again. Then like, 40 hours later, I'm like in the final dungeon already. So, well, mm, what can you do? This game's good. Nice, Twitch Fiend, you like stream all the time, insert fail? Yeah, I mean, I can't necessarily blame my followership. I stream for like five hours a week, only two nights. <sighs> I got to the very end of the post-game content for this. I was at the Dark Genie fight when I was a kid, but for whatever reason, I, like he was like too strong and he annihilated me, so. And then I stopped playing the game. 
Nice. I know, you and Elroda both are, uh, I guess he's not here right now, my other mod. Very avid Twitch watchers. I'm worse at that, because I'll watch streams, but I, like, always just lurk. <sighs> the bloody samurai edge. My iPod's a boss. Shining definitely has its horror. Dark Emblem. Shining definitely has its horror. And Shining is, in fact, hella good. Not my favorite. Uh, but I do enjoy it quite a bit. I always go back and forth on my favorite. I think my favorite, though, is Alien. The original Alien. This is so damn good. Yeah, light element. Yeah, I think he does have, like, an insta-kill move Tetris. That sounds familiar. And, like, you have to attack him with, like, the certain person. Like, if he's glowing purple, you have to attack him with Max. And if he's glowing blue, you have to attack him with Monica or something like that. So you have to constantly switch people. And Monica is always weaker than Max anyway. So it's like... Get wrecked by my laser gun. Oh, King Mimic. Yeah, the genie. Yeah, yeah, genie. We'll get to the final boss fight. Probably not tonight. Maybe tonight. We'll get to the final boss fight in this game, though. And it is ridiculous. The final boss fight in this game is like 15 battles in a row. It's very classic JRPG, like, just keep throwing enemies at you. Don't. Get bopped. I suppose I should use Monica. Oh man, my window's open. A freaking skunk just right outside. Gosh dang it. Ugh, I hate skunks. Ugh. You've never seen Alien Dark Emblem. <laughs> Super sci fi -li Oh man, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, the one where uh, Mr. McKenzie like kicked him out because he, <laughs> he was so bad or something, or he's like really mad at him. Remember when Mr. McKenzie called Shreefer adult? I sure do. I remember when he called him adult. To his parents at parent-teacher conferences. Uh. Oh gosh, dang it. <laughs> Who called someone's kid adult in front of his parents? Adult! Adult! <laughs> Not adult, like A D U L T, adult. Uh, I don't really know how to distinguish the pronunciation on those. What is up with you, though, Insert Fail? Is life good? Uh, it's been a little while since I've seen you on or talked to you in any way. I haven't really talked to you, I think, since the international. Is life good? Life treating you well? <laughs> Shriver was the best. Yeah, well, he clearly just did not give a crap about that class. You are here in here, Tetris. You're a little young and. No, I got bonked. Oh, good old invincibility frames. During a super move. I use Monica next floor. Oh, yeah, when Mackenzie stopped to get that drink of water, so they walked back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, did, didn't Shriver make some sort of comment about, like, Hamlet was about... Not Hamlet. Yeah, yeah. Hamlet was about, like, <laughs> pollution destroying our environment or something like that. And the desert was a metaphor for, like, the actual desert that's happening because of deforestation. Something like that. Oh, man. No. No. We got it dead, we got that dead. Oh, 
No, I got stopped. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Get killed, get killed. Yeah, I saw you were playing Dark Souls, uh, is there fail? I'm excited for that. I love Dark Souls. Uh, I've beaten, I've platinumed that. I've gotten all the achievements in that game. It is so good. I saw you were, I think you were, when I when I tuned in and was lurking, you were facing uh, that guardian demon in uh, near the, the Izalith, I think. That one that's a repeat of the guardian right. boss you fight back in the Let's Undead Asylum. Yeah, that boss is annoying. His big fat butt. Just gotta constantly slap his butt. It says life's been good, work is work is good and fun. Going to PAX East in April and the International again. Very exciting. I've never been to a PAX. Certainly I've never been to the International. Meet lots of new people. Rad Trooper, you gotta play Dark Souls, man. You played Demon Souls. Sphere. Oh my gosh, another 10 hit course. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, you, nice! You beat the better cast of four tries. Yeah, that that is a luck-based fight if I've ever seen one. Ugh, that is. I would argue that is the worst, uh, the worst bar boss fight in Souls history. That's so bad. It's so you gotta get so lucky. Ugh. <laughs> oh, bed of chaos. F that fight. That fight is so dumb. Do you have the uh, Artorius of the Abyss uh, DLC into fail? Because that content is. Woo it's amazing. Thread the gap, thread the gap. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. I would have thread the gap, though. Mega lucky. We need emotes. <laughs> one day, one day I'll custom emotes. Uh, let's put a little backspin on it. Nice, got the prepare to die edition. Yeah, it does include that, uh-huh. That content is so good. Dark Emblem in the chat, he has played all of the Souls games, if I do believe, except for, yeah, he's played, he's played them all. Oh, too hard. <laughs> no way, the best the best boss is uh what's his face? Uh Calamite. Best boss Calamite, maybe ball ball ball. <clears throat> Cool. Well, we could just hit it decently hard and then put a little bit of backspin on it. Nahaha, <laughs> my Sveta skills are unmatched. <laughs> you don't gotta cap at Orange Genius Smog. That boss fight is incredible. It's rage inducing. It's incredible. Yeah, everyone prefers the Artorias fight, but I uh, much, much prefer Calamite. So where are you at right now, uh, insert fail? Where are you at in the game? Switch to Monica. She got a cool outfit on. Bam! Oh, 
the mat. I love that magical hat of glorious light. Tomb of the Giants. Don't you love Tomb of the Giants? Insert fail. Isn't it your favorite place ever? The final boss of Tomb of the Giants isn't so hard, though. He's not so bad. Mr. Nito. Mr. Nito, the Grave Lord. Ugh. Seven hours. At that point, I would have just thrown in the tower and called in a friend. Ugh. The punishment you dealt with. Shout out to sticking through it though, Insert Fail. You, are you liking Dark Souls? As one of my favorite games of all time. I think my uh, third favorite game of all time, Dark Souls holds a pretty, uh, pretty big place in my heart. The game is just so freaking good. Nick. Good old PS2 era camera problems. Well, hmm. Does this do damage? Ah, oh, it does good damage. Well. Alright, I don't have the patience to beat one of those heavy armored things without the ride pod. The ride pod? Oh. Actually. Let's repair it. Ride pod. Doing a blind run, so I'm just missing a lot of stuff. I'm the only thing I'm gonna spoil for myself. Can't figure out the end is what's to do to talk to Spider Waifu. <laughs> yeah, you, you want to be part of the Spider Waifu clan? Oh, why did I do that? I switch back. Uh, my fight money. Get smacked. Crack a lack. You would be a Spider Waifu. It's all about Dragon Bros. Dragon Bros. Dragon old brosters. Dragon Bros are the champions. I don't even think I was Dragon Bros. I think I was. I don't even know what I was. Oh no, yeah, I was. <sighs> That's all I gotta say. That's all I'm gonna say to that. Spider waifu for laifu. Get mm -hmm. dead leech. Sun bro, oh, sun bros for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The glorious sun, the glorious sun, sun bro. Joy and jolly cooperation. Jolly cooperation. Cooperate. Yo, are you guys excited though for Dark? I mean, Dark. Yeah, for Dark Souls three. Woo. Game comes out in like two months. Ha, 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 ta, ta. Praise the sun. No, you failed your son, bro. This is bad, man. <laughs> no, he was just trying to be. That's all right. He engaged his jolly cooperation and said fail. He engaged and he did his best. His or her best. The sun bros. No, no, race or gender. Sun bros are just there. Just to be bros. Guys, guys, this is going to sound crazy, but my Monica is more powerful than my Max at the moment. GOP. Oh no! Except for when she gets wrecked by a camera. Camera! Hey, what's up, Lancer? Gosh, all these enemies are like ride pod specific. Rad. Yes, sir. You gotta play Dark Souls 1 and 2 first and then Bloodborne. Yeah, kill, 
still get killed. Whatever, I'll let him get the experience points. I'm tired of switching. Let's go, you punks. Ugh. 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 Oh no, my thing broke. All right, let's just repair it. No, Dark Souls 3 is coming to PC. Pretty sure. I think it's coming also same date P PC. Maybe it's a little bit later PC. Ah. I think you can play on PC. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's PC. All Dark Souls have been PC. Only Bloodborne and Demon Souls have been PlayStation exclusive. This game is really easy against one-on-one -on -one enemies because you can just stun lock them with your charge attacks. Like, you can just keep on knocking them over and over. Oh, whatever. Who said the game needs to be hard to be good? Ugh. That's true. Retro, you got too many strategy simulation games to play in the interim. I don't want a bomb nut. Shoot it all down. Just cheese it up. Oh, dodge your attack. Is it Dark Souls 3? It's definitely coming to PC. Yeah, it's on Steam. I think PC version maybe just coming a little bit later. Looking it up. No, it says release date April 11th. You have no excuse. Same date as the, uh... PS4, Xbox One versions. Bop. Oh, Rad Trooper, you have such interesting taste in games, and I love it. It's delightfully weird from my perspective. Do you guys have any, do you guys and gals have any plans for the weekend? What are we all doing on the weekend? Lock your phone. Gosh dang it. Might get around to Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls in three years or so. Ugh. Wait, Tetris, is your response to what are you doing this weekend fun? What is it? <laughs> fun, booze, all right, we're getting some. Whoa, all right. Dragons are worrisome. All right, got rid of him, that's scary. Ah. Get kicked. Ooh, so let's see. Dark Emblem 3, Planet's Booze, Tetris is fun. 
And it's fair going to come see it. I'll meet with one of the Dota Buds lives near there. Going to go barbecue, watch either Star Wars or Deadpool. Ooh, very cool. I haven't seen either. Whoa, you've never seen Star Wars or Deadpool? Deadpool's whatever. I don't know. But Star Wars, that seems like that's such a phenomenon. You haven't seen it yet. Gotta go. I'm gonna finish Dark. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna own you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold you to that, uh, Red Trooper. I'm gonna see if you actually have beaten Darkest Dungeon. Come, uh, come weekend's end. It's a big, that's a big claim. That is not an easy game to beat. Wow, everyone's seen, okay, maybe I'm the only one who hasn't seen Deadpool. I have not seen no Deadpool. Movie I'm most excited about. Tim Cloverfield Lane, anybody with me? All right. Pog champs in the chat if you're you excited guys. for 10 Cloverfield Lane. <laughs> Oh, Finny Frenzies. Finny Frenzies here. Uh, I think so. It might be a thriller, but I count most thrillers as horror anyway. But it's... Uh, I think it's a spiritual successor? to a horror film, so I would imagine it's a horror movie. A little backspin. Ah, too much backspin, no. Yeah, I loved, yeah, man, I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel ashamed as to admit that I loved and still enjoy Cloverfield. I think I actually own it on iTunes. It's one of, like, the three movies I own on iTunes, because who buys a movie on iTunes? I bought it, I think, while I was in high school, because I'm a dumb butt. Dummy. Yeah, boy! Sveda cleared. That was a closer one. Let's just not mess up my shot. Alright. Bomb! I want it's Sveda. I got a medal. Alright, we got your just key. A rad you're such a hater. Such a hater. Just can't appreciate true art <laughs> or true bad films that are fun as hell to watch. Don't, as as Justine says to kids that she teaches, don't yuck someone's yum. Mm -hmm. Think about that one for a second. Blurg. All right, one more floor. Let's go. Let's beat this dungeon. If they're bad in the right way, yeah, totally, totally. Oh, that's true. Starship Troopers is a perfect example, Red Trooper. Uh, I can't use healing items. Ugh, that's a little bit annoying. I'm gonna buy a seal breaking scroll. I don't wanna have to deal with not healing. I don't want that pressure of having to do that. Wait, don't yuck someone's yum sounds sexual? Dark emblem, what are you thinking, man? Let's sell some stuff. We got junk. This junk. This junk and this junk. Let's sell some of our extraneous weapons. I don't 
know if we need all these Feta clubs, but I'll keep them right now. I don't need Samurai Arm 2, I got Samurai Arm 3! Sell some bomb nuts. And let's buy a seal breaking scroll. <laughs> You're actually, you brought out Starship Troopers every time the old GF wanted to watch a romance movie. <laughs> I did my part. I did my part. That's the best part of the movie. I did my part. I did my part. Final dun final floor of the dungeon. Let's go. Oh wait, and that's right. Yeah, okay. What was her movie? This is Rad Trooper in the chat says that he would watch her movie and then we'd watch mine. Is it the Notebook? Psych. I can, in fact, restore health and stuff, because I bought a seal-breaking scroll. Ya bunk. Ya bunk. Wait, where is it? There it is. I can heal. Aha! Sleepless in Seattle. Uh, I've never seen that one, actually, so I was going to say, that's not so bad, but I don't know, because I've never seen it. I'm not a big fan of Meg Ryan, though, so I don't know if I'm, uh, I don't know if I would be a fan. Slice and dice. After those two, she got the hint and stopped suggesting romance movies to watch together. We said on Titanic one time afterwards. But she wasn't a fan of the Starship Troopers? She's not doing her part! Get wrecked. I still don't know why this game design chose to, uh, oh, why they chose to have these little blue orbs for experience points. Because you can, like, lose them, they can disappear. Like, what's the point of that? I don't get it. Why does it just, like, automatically transfer to you? I do need to buy more repair powder, but I'll be fine on this one dungeon floor. Level up. It's sort of backrest. Sit on the floor for this long. Hurts my back. <laughs> Be upright. Dark Emblem, did you have a stat problem set? As usual? This Thursday night? Are you done with said stat problem set? Curious to know. That's 50 points of damage right there. Get killed, you Lancer. You punk Lancer. Cause I'm a punk rocker, yes I am. Congrats, Tetris. You don't have a test tomorrow. Wait, have you finished all your finals from uh, last semester? Are you done, buddy? And do you know how any of them went? How do I not have room for premium chicken? I always got room for premium chicken. King Mimic. So what you're saying is you can hang out for the rest of the stream here, Mr. Tetris. Did 
Does this music remind you, Jack? I'm a little bit of Final Fantasy XII's. I don't know what about it, but it definitely reminds me of Final Fantasy XII before the battle theme. Surprisingly, we actually talk a little bit of Final Fantasy XII on the podcast, so uh, please be excited for that. <laughs> How does it come up? You'll just have to find out. Tetris and Dark Emblem, you guys caught up on the podcast now? Yeah? Buddies? Oh my goodness! Gosh, I have a lot of enemies in one area. Nice, dude. Caught up, dude. Probably just bashed a bunch of podcasts. I didn't bash it. No, I enjoy Final Fantasy XII. I enjoy Final Fantasy XII. It's not the best Final Fantasy game ever, not by a long shot. But I enjoy it. I enjoy it. It has its merits. There are things to like about Final Fantasy XII, plenty of them. Mainly, don't trust Andor's lies, or I'm Bart von Ronsenberg of Dalmaska. Those are, those are two things to like. If you're into bunny girls, Fran is a third thing to like. Just kidding, just kidding, there's stuff to like in the game. <laughs> True, but you paid the price for fluidity. I'd say battles were seamless with exploration, but at the same time, battles overall were less moment to moment interesting than other Final Fantasy titles, in my opinion. But that's because I do prefer a turn based style over the weird gambit system thing. But that's potentially because I just never didn't ever want to spend too, too much time trying to perfectly. You know, set up the the best gambits for every situation and constantly tweak them and stuff. Yeah, it's not bad. Final Fantasy XII, series, it has merit. It's definitely not the worst. Like, Final Fantasy VIII is probably the worst Final Fantasy I've played. Uh... Well, worst mainline Final Fantasy. We'll put it that way. Point of disclaimer, I haven't played one or two. No, psych. No, it's not. The worst is Final Fantasy 13. What am I talking about? Oh my gosh. Final Fantasy 13 is by far the worst. Oh, uh, Interfail, you actually ignored the Gambit system. I feel like, though, like in the harder parts of the game, like right. unless you were really good and having quick reactions, like you had to have a good Gambit setup, because like, some of those, the game got super hard. Like, even more so than other Final Fantasies. Like, other Final Fantasies, if you grinded enough, you could be fine. But I feel like even that game, even if you grinded, if you didn't have a good gambit setup, you could get wrecked by some of these, like, optional bosses. What? I use a treasure ski on, on an empty chest. Uh, Morty, uh, a treasure ski on an empty chest. Uh, wow, Tetris from you, the shots fired in the chat, claiming that... Final Fantasy 7 is the worst. <laughs> uh, I mean, it might be fighting words to some people, but not fighting words to me. I enjoy Final Fantasy 7, but the best Final Fantasy is a Final Fantasy 6. I like 4 a lot too, come to think of it. It's the compression, bro. Thanks. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Man, my Morty is way worse than my Rick. Right? Yeah, that's their names. 
Man, I haven't done a we we didn't even done a Rick and Morty impression on the podcast in a long time. We gotta bring that one back. So somehow I'm not sure if you're sick impression, bro. I feel like it was probably facetious. But you know what? I don't care if it's facetious. I'll take it. No. Oh gosh. Ha 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 ha. Wait, what is Chipmunk playing GSHS? Huh? Wait, Chipmunk's on? Huh? Oh, look at that great shot. Look at that great shot. Wait, what's, there's no way Flip the North Star is on. I actually need those holy stones for uh, synthesis. Wait, can I do it now? Make Novocaine 3. Hey, oh, holy stone. Booyah, sicky clay. Novocaine 3. Booyah. Oh, uh, well, I definitely can't fight the final boss because Justine might be in here and half an hour, and I'm not beating the final boss in half an hour, and I also don't want to be stuck playing. So we'll do some maintenance, and then maybe we'll call it a quick night after we do some stuff. I'm not ending just yet, but there's no way I'm trying to fight the final boss <laughs> on stream tonight. Uh... Get some saves in here. Because I think the final boss, you have to, like, enter a name in a door or something. So I don't think... I think I can actually go to this room and take some picture ideas. And then I actually have to fight the final boss yet. Alright, now that we've saved neurotically... Alright, let's go in this room. Sun chamber. Alright, cool. Flower chandelier, that's a picture you need for a lot of stuff. Sun Jaber Gatekeeper. I feel like I'm so close to trophy level 8. Ugh, it's annoying that I don't have it yet. Golden door, but where's Labyrinth door? There's like a door that I don't have a picture of yet. All right, whatever. I wanna be trophy level eight. It's like the last trophy. Well, not the last trophy I can get, but so you go up to that door and you're like, Cyrus and whatever, you say his name and then you can fight him and stuff. It's like, say his name, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna fight him just yet. Actually, can I build up Monica's weapon into an Island King? Oh yeah, Island King time, baby! Monica's ultimate weapon. Mm. It spins, look at it, it spins! This is close. Oh, I just gotta get Beast up to 130. I might actually be able to do that now. Oh, I might be able to get all, I might be able to save scum my way to getting, I might be able to save, save scum my way into getting all uh, the weapon trophies.
Right, let's exit out. Let's see if we can get this up to 130. I don't know if 20 census points is enough. Got a little trick here called... It's not Labyrinth Door, what the heck? Ping pong 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 Yo, I didn't even see this, what? Fruit of Eden. Oh. Which parfait? Is this a labyrinth door? No flower palace, that's not helpful. Ideas saved. I'll give you no, no no new ideas saved. Just missing a couple creature scoops. Ugh. Photography level eight so hard. All right. Do I have any gems? No, I don't. That's really frustrating. All right, because. Probably need more culture, more flower pots. Alright, so, uh, 62, I need up to 135, I believe. 19 is not gonna be enough. Uh, no. It's so annoying. It's, uh, 42, 45. 42, 45, 48, 51. 54, 57. 57 plus 62 is not good enough. Gosh dang it. I need to level it up one more time. All right, we can do this. I'm going to use the level up powder on it. It's so close to leveling it up, but I'm impatient. I have level up powders. <laughs> Futility of man vibe. <laughs> Give that a Monica. Now I have two apples. We'll use one on each character. 200 health. 200 health. Um, let's level up. That's, that's a little frustrating to use, but now it should have enough synthesis points. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to save scum our way into getting two silver trophies. Come with me on this journey of save scumming. Won't you join me? Doesn't everyone love save scumming to get trophies? No, I sure do. First, let us buy some beast crystals so we have enough beast crystals so we can get enough beast points in our hammer. And once we have that, it'll be legend, which is ultimate. And I'm gonna explain the trick that I'm gonna use so I can actually get the ultimate weapons with each character. Hopefully it works. without having to grind to level up my secondary weapons, because they need a lot more points still, and a lot more grinding. Which, ain't nobody got time for that. Hey, Rad Trooper, remember when you shared that song with me, the, why you coming home at five in the morning? <laughs> Something's going on. Let me smell your part. That song rocks, man. All right, so let's buy 13 of these. 26, that should be plenty. Alright. <laughs> yeah, it was Kyle's man. Let me get out of this place. Get near a save station so I can. Yeah, it brought up a lot of weird, funny stuff. <laughs> I remember showing that to someone. They're like, how in the heck did you find that? I'm like, my buddy found it. <laughs> uh, college was essentially a mental asylum you had to pay for. Yeah, sometimes I feel like that too. Alright. 
Yeah, at least your first two years, yeah, for sure, buddy. All right, all right, all right. So let us do this right now while we can. We have enough synthesis points, I think. Gosh, sure hope so. So we need a total of 75. Oh my gosh, that is, I don't know if I'm even close yet. All right, we got it. Legend time, baby! That's Max's ultimate weapon. Believe it or not. Stupid looking. The other ulti his other ultimate weapon looks way cooler. Alright, so now I've got Monica's ultimate weapon in her right hand, but one short in her left. And Max's ultimate weapon in his right hand and one short on the right. We're gonna we're gonna save scum here. Five star armlet. All right, let's do this. So we've got this magical little item called a name change ticket, right? Which lets you rename weapons. Potentially, it was implemented in the game so you could change the name of a weapon to something cool. Like you didn't like that it was called Legend, you could call it Super Butt Max or whatever you want to call it. There's a glitch. I don't know if it's actually a glitch. A glitch that if you enter in the name of an existing weapon in the game, the weapon that you changed will transform into that weapon, albeit with its base stats for that weapon. But so you can base pretty much, if you get one of these name shame tickets, which are hard to do, it takes 45 medals, which are those things I get at the end of Dungeon Floors. But it takes 45, you buy one, you can change any weapon into an ultimate weapon. <laughs> So let us do that right now. We're gonna do Max's trophy first, but let's first save. Let's find ourselves a save point. Cause we're gonna be doing some saves coming. All right, we're saved up. We're saved up. All right, so Max's ultimate gun is called Supernova. So, what are we are going to do is, no. We're gonna transform one of these weapons into a supernova. So you take one of his weapons that is a gun, change name. Oh my gosh. I don't know if there's a good way to delete everything. Shisho, no, no. Shisho isn't the one with the shortest name. No. Now let's just do backspace. All right, we're not dumb. So you enter it exactly as it is in game. So it's capital S U super. Oh, super O. Super Nova. No spaces. That seems right. Change to supernova. And voila, now I have his ultimate gun weapon for free. Hey, good night, Night Dark Emblem 3, thanks for hanging out. And so now what I should just do is equip this. Trophy pop? No, trophy pop? Does it not work if I build it up this way? I have the supernova. Is it gonna actually make me earn this realistically? Come on, trophy. Pop, darn you. I might have been played by the game. I assumed it would work. All right, well. All of that hoopla was for nothing. I guess the trophy system needs you to synthesize it and level it up into it, so, uh, oh, that doesn't work. All 
That's disappointing. I want to reload. Uh, is there a way I can go back to the main menu? Uh, darn it. My cheat, my cheeky little trick didn't work. Uh, my cheeky little trick did not work. All right, well, that'll be it for tonight, then. It didn't work. I actually have- you actually have to build it up. I'm close. I'm close on my other weapons, but no, it didn't work. So that'll do it for tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> Got patched out, probably. Who knows? Who knows? I was trying to- I was trying to be cheeky to unlock the silver trophies, but it looks like I actually need to earn them. Oh, well. Well, this game was gonna be a platinum anyway, so thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with me. Again, you can find everything I do to follow me on Twitter. That's at Alex Maha. It's at Alex S. A. Mocha. Like the coffee. Of course, the Impact Factor is my home for video game stuff. It's writing, it's articles, it's podcasts, it's reviews, it's many more, so check out the links in the description there. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>